to Luxembourg actually a week ago already. We are trying to understand the city, walking around, understanding which areas would we like to live in and we just walked past Rue de Hermesinde, which is the same name of the city where I left from in Portugal, where I used to live in Portugal. Uh, and that's peculiar, to say the least. We found out that it's a super chill vibe in the city. It's a super relaxed town to cruise around. Today's a Saturday and it's uh, practically empty. Beekeeping in the center of the city. Could ever do, could ever do to deserve you. There's nothing I could ever do, could ever do to deserve you. This was considered one of the most beautiful balconies in the world. You're just out of my league. Okay, we've been here for two weeks. Today is a beautiful sunny day. We were really lucky when we arrived. We had a beautiful sunny week, the first one, and now the sun came back. Look at this. <laughs> Quite a contrast with uh, with Shanghai, obviously. The city is peaceful, everybody's very chill. There's a lot of nature everywhere. It's a lot more silent than Shanghai was. That was something I, I didn't realize before, how, how much noise, ambient pollution we have in Shanghai because of the 20 million people. Since uh, Luxembourg is a city with only 600,000 people, that, that makes Luxembourg a very peaceful location to be at. And this is the park that goes around the valley. And today we'll be walking all the way to Clausen. I'm gonna show you guys around. Stay tuned. The truth is, commercially, it's also much more toned down. You don't see as many stores, so everything is closed on Sundays, and that is one of the biggest differences. You can't even go to the a supermarket on a Sunday because it's closed uh, and everything cool all, all stores all commerce closes pretty early like at 6 p.m. 8 p.m. so you need to prepare you need to make a plan on to what you need for the weekend or what you need for Sunday before you start uh, before you start your weekend otherwise you might get stranded at home with no food but this feels really good the air feel, feels pure the water feels fresh it's pretty relaxing So we just arrived to Clausen. Clausen is an area with a lot of bars uh, and this is a place where everybody comes to you know hang out with their friends uh, but of course we're gonna still stay as safe as possible and try to maintain our distance but I'll give you guys a chance to look around and see how it looks like. What could I say, what could I say, what could I say to convince you? How perfect is this little park? So cool. iPhone is telling us to go through these weird stairs and it feels like we're entering somebody's property, but hey, gotta trust the iPhone. It's incredible how a, a capital city in the middle of Europe can have so much nature right in the center. Oh boy. It's not that I'm such a bad guy. 
I think this image shows the contrast of Luxembourg. You have small little cottage houses next door to massive international European buildings. This street has that America metropolis vibe, although completely deserted. Not because of COVID, just because it's Sunday, it's Luxembourg, nothing happens on a Sunday. This is the European Convention Center. It feels proper. This is designed to have all world leaders inside. That was a long walk. We spent the whole day walking. It was beautiful weather. We are now heading home and ready for another week of work. Uh, I'll keep you updated and I'll see you in my next video.